What are the three things that I avoid as a raw vegan that have nothing to do with the food? Hello, welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. We have 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe ebooks. So if you've been thinking about adding more raw food to your diet or you need some fun new recipes, go check them out. The code is rawfood40 if you wanna get that 40% off discount. That includes my new hand salads ebook and my raw transition guide. Everything in there is 40% off, so go check it out. And also, if you like videos like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. So today's video is going to be about the three things that I avoid as a raw vegan that have nothing to do with the food. The first thing that I avoid is absolute statements. <laughs> I try my absolute best to not use absolute statements or give guarantees or cures on social media, it is irresponsible to use absolute statements because absolute statements are irresponsible. When somebody new is coming into a raw vegan diet and they find somebody who says, eat raw and you'll never get sick, or eat raw and you'll heal everything, and you can cure this and you can cure that, these are guarantees and absolutes that can actually set someone up for disappointment later on and it isn't something that is something that I agree with. And I think it's dangerous to lead people on. A raw diet is not the cure all for absolutely everything. And some people want to disagree with that and that's totally fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But when somebody is coming into a raw diet, it's best if they understand that a raw diet is just meant to help support your body and to help your body to heal whatever it needs to heal and some stuff might not heal realizing that and accepting it is very beneficial to our growth because again absolute statements can be damaging especially when somebody comes and says for example all cooked food is poison or there is zero nutrition in cooked food both are untrue statements cooked food is a big basket of stuff, right? Like you could put processed food in that box too. So we have to really differentiate between what it is we're actually talking about. So somebody could be eating, say, a whole bunch of raw food with a little bit of steamed broccoli or a boiled sweet potato. And somebody can say, well, that is toxic. Toxic is another word that's overused and misused. It's causing a lot of fear in the community and people are scared to eat cooked food. So then they default to raw or they force themselves to stay raw and they might be under eating or not eating enough variety and ending up with nutritional deficiencies because they need maybe a little extra from whole food, plant-based, boiled or steamed is the best way to cook if you were to add that to a really decent amount of raw food in your diet. Thinking that all cooked food is poison or toxic can really mess with somebody's mental health when they are trying to eat more raw food. Focusing on the raw food as what they want to do, but also still maybe in their transition to be okay with eating a little bit of cooked food until they're able to eat all raw food if that's where they want to go, but without feeling guilty that they're eating something toxic which in my books is not something that I ever want to go to. So that's what main thing that I avoid as a raw vegan is to avoid the absolute statements. And if anyone has an absolute statement, it's a red flag for me. I don't want to hear it. Um, the only absolutes that I think that are appropriate is, for example, there's zero fiber in oil. That's a fact, it's true. There's no fiber in animal products. That's a fact, that's true. But aside from those two, then there is a big wide range of, you know, what's better than what and everything has their pros and cons and you're choosing it based on what you want and your goals and where you wanna go without fear. That's the one thing that I'm really big on is choosing without fear and not having to fall into dogma, which is the second thing that I avoid as a raw vegan is I avoid the dogma, the rules, the this or that black and white 
um, and the things that other people think that I should be doing for my health when I'm doing what is working for my body and I eat raw the way I enjoy eating raw. There is no real major rules. I mean, there's like some basic rules like eat enough, eat variety, eat plants, eat low fat is a pretty good one as well. But again, it's not black or white. It's not all or nothing. And then I've had lots of people come in and say, Lissa, you shouldn't be combining so many foods. That's not natural. We can't digest that way or whatever. When my gut is actually phenomenal, it's, it's better than it's ever been. And I eat more variety now than I ever have in my entire life. Even when I first started eating raw, I combine all kinds of things. I don't have digestive issues like most people do. So everybody has to follow whatever they're comfortable with and they have to work with their body and not to just follow dogma blindly and assume that what they're doing is ideal or perfect without say testing, for example. Test your microbiome, test your blood, see where you're at. Assumptions actually can bring us into issues. So don't fall into the dogma, explore, listen to others and listen with an open heart and take what makes sense and move forward with that. You don't need to impose your thoughts on somebody else. Just enjoy the process of learning, whatever that looks like for you and grow. Don't get stuck in dogma because then you're not able to grow. You're always focused on this one little, little box of what you think you need to be or how somebody online thinks that you need to eat. You are gonna do what feels best for you and you're gonna work from there to grow in your journey. And the third thing that I avoid as a raw vegan that has nothing to do with food would be the jokers, the bullies, the trolls, and the people who just wanna debate everything for no reason other than just to debate or to make themselves feel right. So I obviously can't avoid them 100% because they just come in here and there in our lives, but learning how to let it roll off your back and it may hurt on the way off the back, if, especially if it's a bully or a joker or somebody who's personally attacking you, which is not fair. I mean, we're all human. We should respect other people if they disagree with us. Disagreement does not equal hate. That's another thing that people need to really realize is that you can disagree with somebody does not mean that you hate them. You just disagree with their statement, which is totally fine. It's okay to disagree with things. We're all growing and we're all learning and we're all shifting and changing our beliefs and all of that kind of stuff. So yes, I know not everyone is going to agree, agree with what I eat. Not everyone is going to agree with what I do. And that's totally okay. I'm here to share and whoever wants to listen, can listen. If you don't like it, scroll by. <laughs> you don't have to watch the rest of the video. You don't have to watch my content. Scroll by if it's not something that interests you instead of coming in and attacking or saying whatever you feel. I mean, again, you can, but I'm probably going to ignore it because that's something that I avoid as a raw vegan. I don't want to deal with that. It takes my peace and my peace is very valuable to me. So I do normally swipe and delete or I block people who are really rude um, or really mean. So I, I don't take that kind of stuff on my channel. But yeah, those are the three things that I avoid as a raw vegan that have nothing to do with food. I hope you found this video helpful. <laughs> if you did, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell if you want to get notifications whenever I post a new one. And don't forget, we've got 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe ebooks, including the wraps, the burgers, the tacos, all kinds of goodies are all 40% off. Code is rawfood40 and the link is in the description box below. So mwah, thank you again for joining me for another video. We'll be back next week for another one. Until then, fruit on.